their life's little dilemmas. What do you see in the picture, guys? Someone that is going to decide something. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to decide something. The correct choice, right? The right, the correct thing to do. Hmm, what is the correct thing to do? Is it A or is it B? Or demon. Yeah, <laughs> what's a dilemma? Oh, dilemmas. Where you have to decide what is right or what is wrong. Okay. To... A moral dilemma is where you have to decide what is right and what is wrong. The answer is often not clear and different, different people will have different opinions. So a moral dilemma. Do you have a dilemma? Just dilemma or moral dilemma? Sometimes. Hmm, let's, any dilemma. Nothing, everything is good. What about any dilemma you've had? Can you tell me about any dilemma you've had? For example, I don't know if I should do exercise today or not. In the present or in the past? Uh, I don't know, it's in, in present, so I don't know if I might do exercise. I might or I should is also correct. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a, a little dilemma. <laughs> For me, it's easy. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, do 30 minutes after class. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm sleepy. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mago. How are you feeling now? Better. A lot. Awesome. Better. That's good. Are you ready? You feel yes. ready? Yes. Yes. Great. Can you tell us, can you share with us any dilemma you've had in the past or maybe in the present? Mm, okay. My dilemma will be if I should stay in my house or go with my or go visit my mom's house. Is that correct? <laughs> um, stay in your house or visit your mom? Is that what yes. you said? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Is, Is that, that a dilemma? Well, sure, but we don't have the context, right? So we don't know what makes that a difficult question. Oh, so if uh, you don't if, want to share, it's okay. Uh, but if oh, it's know, just it's just an example uh, because my mom lives in in another state it's far from here and uh, so you have to decide whether to stay where you are or move to another city yes mm -hmm. ah that would be a, a little dilemma huh <laughs> yes uh -huh. i don't okay. i don't think i make myself clear in that example but that was like, like the idea okay maybe uh to make it in, in a short sentence without a lot of context yes. is, I don't know uh, uh, if I should stay where I live or move to my mom's in a different state, oh. to my mom's house in a different state. Mm -hmm. You know, not a lot of context and it's, uh, it's a complete story. More right? simple. Yeah, it's a little simple, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Mago. What about you, Natividad and Manuel? Anything you have? In the past, maybe I get married with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I don't know how do you say Christiana. Christian. Christian. She's Christian. Christian. She's Christian, and you know the family tell you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think, I know. Think better, you know. <laughs> I know. I know. It, it's the other way too. For example, um, 
do you have a different denomination? About what? Religion, a different denomination. Because Catholics are also Christian. The Catholic mm -hmm. is called I'm, Catholic, I'm Catholic Christian Church. And Catholic and she's another religion. She's Christian, right? The, uh, yes. I don't remember how to, uh, what is the name for that separation, but they're called denominations. denominations. Yeah, they're different denominations, yes. Yeah, it, 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 it's a dilemma Not with final. the family, huh? Yes. But I fall yes. in love. <laughs> oh, there it is, that too. <laughs> is everything okay now? Yes. I, I did it. Awesome. I get married <laughs> with, with her. Good. Good for you, Natividad. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. And you, Manuel, can you share something with us? I don't know if, uh, if this is a dilemma, but I want to be in United States, but I'm here in Mexico. In Mexico? could be a dilemma, right? Can you repeat your story again, please? My dilemma is that I, I wish to be in the United States, but, I, but I'm here. But you are here. Okay. And the another one could be, um, I, I wanted to be a, a, a lawyer but I started to be a, a teacher. Okay. So that was the dilemma back when you were studying, right? Yes. Before the university or while the university maybe? Before okay. the university. Before the university, perfect. So thank you very much. Okay. Now, what do you guys see in the pictures? What's picture this number one? It's a pot. A teacup. A teapot. A teapot. A teapot. And easy, what is this? Easy. Camera. Camera. Right? And this, what is that? CD. CD. A CD. CD. And this? Present. A gift or present? A, a gift or present. What about this? What is that? Disappointment. Awesome. Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> yes. Heartache. And this? It's change for money. <laughs> Counting the bills or what is it? I don't know. What is, what is it for you? I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about She's asking for money. Thinking about pay. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. That's perfect. Now, what would you do if you lost your wallet? I would post something in Facebook, like in a group. Oh. And yeah, offer that's good, something. That's a good idea. It never occurred to me. What would you do if you found a wallet? Return it. Find also, out the find information, out information about the, the idea. The ID. owner. There. Now, what would you do if a friend broke your mother's favorite teapot? If a friend broke uh, my mother's teapot, I would buy another one. Oh, easy, simple. Yes. What would, you, yeah. what would you do if you borrowed the camera from a friend and broke it? Replace oh it. I would pay for it. Replace it. Try to replace uh -huh. to another one. Yes, yes. I know I want another camera. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? I will laugh. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> you would laugh. Get it, sad. it will be yeah, sad. sad. Okay. Or sad with him or her. What would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? Thanks. I would thank him or her. 
I just think, think. Think? What would you say think. if a friend asked you for a loan to buy an MP3 player? You for a loan. What is loan? Is to borrow? I, yes. I would buy it. Borrow. Is borrow it money. to lend money? Yes. Okay. Land. Okay, uh, I would say no. There. And what would you do Same. if a friend borrowed a favorite CD and forgot to return it? <laughs> ah, those friends. I would say yes. First of all, if it's my favorite CD, I won't let anyone to borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. All right, <laughs> what you're going to do is listen and listen to the options, A or B. And in each case, pick one, whether A or B, okay? And at the end, we'll discuss. Page 78, lesson B, life's little dilemmas. One, building vocabulary and grammar. A, listen and take the quiz. Circle your answers. Then compare with a partner. What would you do? One. What would you do if a friend broke your mother's favorite teapot? Would you A. Let your friend buy a new one? B. Tell your friend not to worry about it and buy a new teapot for your mom? Two. What would you do if you borrowed a camera from a friend and broke it? Would you A. Simply apologize for breaking it. B. Take it to a store and pay for the repairs. 3. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? Would you A. Talk to your friend about your feelings? B. Feel hurt but say nothing to either of them? 4. What would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? Would you A. Thank your friend for the gift and not open it? B. Share the chocolates with your friend after dinner? 5. What would you say if a friend asked you for a loan to buy an MP3 player? Would you say A. Sorry, I never lend money to anyone. B. I'll think about it and let you know. 6. What would you do if a friend borrowed a favorite CD and forgot to return it? Would you A. Remind your friend about it several times? B. Forget about it and buy yourself a new one? So what do you have, guys? Number one, A or B? B. B? B. What B. is B? To buy a new one, you no. It's no. to don't to worry. tell your friend to tell your friend that not to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yes. I sorry, I didn't remember. Tell your friend not to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is number two? What do you have for number two? A or B? B. B, what is B? It's um, pay for the, take it to a place and repair it and pay for it. Pay for the? Take to a place that they repair cameras and pay for it. Take to a place and? Pay for it. Pay, pay for, for it? Uh, Yes, pay for the repair. Okay. Pay for the repair. How about number three? What do you have for number three? A or B? A. A. What is A? Is talk, talk, talk to talk your about your feelings, something like that. Yes. Feeling. Talk about your feelings. People we'll do that. I'm just kidding. So talk about talk your about feelings. Talk about your music, A. 
Okay, what about number four? What's number four, A or B? Teacher, you miss the A. Oh, thank you. It's there. four is B. Well, it's not B. B. I, it's, I just chose B. And what is B? It's share the chocolates. Um, Say to my friends. Share after dinner. After dinner. Share the chocolates. With the friends. Okay, what's number five? A or B? I don't have it. B. B, what's B? It's, um, tell your friend that you, you're gonna think about it. Your friend, what? Continue, please. Think about it. That you think about it? Mm -hmm. About the loan that he's asking for? Yeah. And what do you have for number six? A. A or B? About it. A? What is A? Remind, remind about your favorite CD? Remind us uh, several times. Remind several times? Yes. Because it's our I, friend. I chose, I chose let it be. Forget let it about be. it. Buy another one. Forget about it. And buy another one. <laughs> That's what it's I would do. your favorite CD. <laughs> it's my friend. Okay, so there you go. Uh, would you like to listen again and check? There is a misspell misspelling. Where? Number five. About. About. Oh, yes. About it. There. And would you like to listen again and check, or do you want to see the answers now? See the answers? You want the answers? Okay. So here are the answers. I'm going to erase everything for a moment. Now, these are the answers, but please read and listen at the same time. Okay? Okay. All right. Read and listen. Same time. Page 78. Lesson B. Life's Little Dilemmas. One. Building vocabulary answers. Then compare with a partner. What would you do? One, what would you do if a friend broke your mother's favorite teapot? Would you A, let your friend buy a new one? B, tell your friend not to worry about it and buy a new teapot for your mom? Two, what would you do if you borrowed a camera from a friend and broke it? Would you A, simply apologize for breaking it? B, take it to a store and pay for the repairs? Three. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? Would you A. Talk to your friend about your feelings? B. Feel hurt but say nothing to either of them? Four. What would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? Would you A. Thank your friend for the gift and not open it? B. Share the chocolates with your friend after dinner. Five. What would you say if a friend asked you for a loan to buy an MP3 player? Would you say, A. Sorry, I never lend money to anyone. B. I'll think about it and let you know. Six. What would you do if a friend borrowed a favorite CD and forgot to return it? Would you, A. Remind your friend about it several times. B, forget about it and buy yourself a new one. There. So there are the answers. Now let's check what your opinions were. So you said number one, um, B, tell your friend not to worry about it. Is that correct? I think there's yes. no... It is correct? Yeah, it is correct, right? 
Number two, take it to a place and pay for the repairs. Oh, yeah. Very good. And uh, number three, you chose A. And A it says, talk about your feelings. Yes. Talk to your friend about your feelings. Very good. Number four, B. You chose B, and that is share the chocolates. Very nice. Number five, it was B. And B is tell your friend that you think about it. Now, this is incomplete, right? Because it's you will think, you will think about it. And number six, uh, you picked, most of you picked A, remind several times about the CD, and Manuel said B, forget about it and buy a new one. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Very good job. Now, Pair work, find the prepositions that go with expressions below. Then take turns using each expression in a true sentence. So number one, worry and something. So when you have the verb worry and the object something, what preposition do we use? Worry about. 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 Okay, what about when you talk to someone, something. What preposition do we use? About. About. What about number three? About. About. about something. About. Number four. Remind someone. Remind someone. The same. <laughs> About number five. About what? Get about. Get about. about number six. Something. Something. About someone. About no. No. About for, no, for someone. For someone. For 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 someone. Number seven. Pay, Pay for something. Pay, Pay for. for something. Yes, number eight. Apologize for doing something. For doing something. Yeah, number nine. Thanks some for something. For something. Oh. Thank. Number ten. Ask someone for. About four. Four. Number 11. Could be both for and about. Ah, it depends uh, the intention. It depends on the, on the context. Or in this case, for the object. Ask someone something, and a specific noun. For example, a cell phone, money, a pencil, or a colored pencil, you know, then if I ask you, uh, can I borrow a pen? Then you can say that I asked for a pen. But if I ask you, what was the class about last Thursday? Then I ask about the class. Something about something. Yes, yes, so it's, it, it's either an object, a thing, a tangible object, or a concept, a topic. So it's different, a, a different preposition, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. If I say, okay, I'm gonna, uh, let's see if I can do it right here. Some Ask someone for a girlfriend. That for, that means that you want a girlfriend. It's like going to the store and you go to the store and say, hi, can I have one girlfriend, please? <laughs> so that's not correct. But if you ask, hey, how is Maria doing? Then you ask about, about someone. Yes. 
Does, someone, is that, someone is referring to a person? About is referring to. Okay. And for is needing, wanting that thing, the object. Okay. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. What about the next one? 11. Or something. For someone. For? Nope. Borrow something? Yeah, borrow something. For? It's not for. Buy. It's from. From. Mm -hmm. <laughs> borrow. Yes. Yes, from. borrow something from. 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 Uh, number 12. Say something. To someone. To. To. Lend something. Two. Two. And 14. Share something. Two. No, no, it's not two. With. with. Share something to someone. With. 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 Wow. with. Yes. With. Sorry. All right. The story is right here. It's right there to help you uh, find out the, uh, the prepositions. And again, it depends on the context, right? So talking about this context, what would you do about this? Would you pay for a new camera? Would you ask a friend for a favor? Would you borrow from a, from a friend? Would you share chocolates with your friend? Would you talk to your friend? Etc. So the verbs are worry, think, forget, pay, thank, borrow, say, talk, remind, buy, apologize, ask, lend, and share. All of these are verbs. And we have the prepositions about, for, from, to, and with. So what prepositions go with worry? It would be worry about 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 think about think about uh, forget about about pay for 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 think for 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 borrow from who from say to a, two. Talk two. to remind for from for from for F -O -R. About. About. about okay bye bye two bye four four apologize four 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 us for, 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 then, then to, to, and share uh, with, 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 with. All right, remember that this ask for, we could also say about in the different context, in a different sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, Let's go in sessions. Guys, please ask and answer the questions with your classmates. Okay, I think I have one more. Coral. Hello, teacher. Kenya. Hi, guys. I didn't see you come in. What awesome. Coral, Manuel, Ever, Dania, thank you for coming. Welcome back. Now let's go in sessions so you guys can ask and answer the questions with the classmates, please. Let's see. Denia and Natividad, please stay. Coral, Ebert, Manuel, room number one. Mago, Maria, room number three, please.
I am going to share this uh, screen with you guys. Okay. What's up? Give me a second. I'm gonna share this on the WhatsApp group. <laughs> and you can share your screen now. There. Uh, let me see. It's there. Yes, the script, the image is in the screen in the WhatsApp group. So please go ahead, ask and answer the questions. Okay, got it. Denia. Hi. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Do you have the picture? I got it. Okay, let's let's start. All right. The ladies first. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me sure. see. Uh, the question says, "What would you do if a friend broke your mother's favorite teapot?" I go. My answer or your answer? Your answer. I I tell the question now is your turn to answer. Okay. I I will say to my friend, don't worry. And I will buy a new teapot for my mom. I would Maybe. do the same. If I have money. <laughs> I'll do the same. I'll okay. tell my friend not to worry and buy a new one. Yes, the same. Yeah. New tipo. Um, and only that? I like it that you go and choose a question, whatever you want. The number two, okay. second question. What would you do if you borrow a camera from a friend and broke it? Oh my God, I hope this yeah. never happens. <laughs> um, I would, I would buy a new one, a new camera. camera. First, I'll try to repair the camera maybe it has be repaired maybe if it is repaired and it if is you not, can repair it well if what happened if you don't or if you can't repair it what would you do i need i must buy one <laughs> i need to buy one and I get a shame. Oh, shame. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of shame. Because sometimes the camera is being repaired, but it doesn't look very well. Exactly. So the correct thing maybe should be buy a new one. Uh, maybe the, the best idea is a uh, new buy a new one for my friend but it's a for me it's a lot of problem i'll buy a new one because it was my fault and I, i'll try to repair the camera i broke and i'll have that <laughs> that's for me yeah okay well number three the question it's my turn uh, what Okay, how, how, do, oh. how, how would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? Oh, it's a problem, but I talk, I talk to my friend if he's my best friend. <laughs> of course. He's not? She's not, I mean, if he's not your best friend, what would you no. do? Maybe I forget the situation. I forget the, the 
the people and I forget my friend. Because he's not my friend. You have to be a very good friend, so let them chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. I am sorry to interrupt. Uh, did you finish? Almost, teacher. Almost, huh? it's, it's always time. time. I know it's time. Who got together over the weekend and practice? Nobody, huh? What? what? <laughs> Who got together over the weekend to practice? <laughs> Nobody, I think Nobody. so. Nobody, huh? No. Always out of work. Okay, so th this will be the first uh, notice choice uh, for getting together on the on the weekend. You have the slide on the WhatsApp group, so maybe you can get together on the weekend and finish the whole activity. Okay. 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 And as okay. you can tell. It doesn't take a long time. You, I think at the most, it will take you, at the most, it will take you 10 minutes. And it will be awesome practice for you. Okay, teacher. I'll try right. to remember, teacher. I usually, I usually forgot, forget. Yes, sorry. we all forget. But there is the group right there. So you guys can just send a message and say, hey, who's available uh, at 8 p.m. for 10 minutes? Maybe. Yeah. Yes, and if someone says, yes, I am available, well, all you need is one person, one classmate. Only two of you can get together and practice, right? I will be able to practice on Saturday, guys. Remember that. <laughs> and remember, it doesn't have to be on Zoom or Google Meet or Facebook. You can make a phone call. It's okay. <laughs> right? Yes, yes, teacher. It's not a recorded class. So you guys can talk in Spanish and then you practice in English. And when you finish, you can talk in Spanish. It's for you to practice. Okay? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go for the next part. Now, can you make questions about imaginary situations? These are imaginary situations. This, all of these are imaginary. Right? They are not happening really right now. Who left? Maria Fernanda. Hi, Maria. What happened to you? Okay, so imagine. Imagine a friend broke your mother's favorite teapot. Imagine. What would you do? There. So these are imagining situations. Can you make questions about imaginary situations? Circle the correct words, then ask and answer the questions with a partner. Number one. Here we have two different expressions. What would you do or did you do? What is the correct expression? Would you do? What, what, would, you, would, you do? what would you do? All right, so now what did you do? We cover this to cancel it, there. And on the second sentence, we yeah. have would forget or forgot. Forget. What is the correct expression? Forgot. Forgot, forgot right? So we cancel forget. And there is our question. So what would you do if your friend forgot your birthday? What about number two? How did you react? How would you react? Did you react did you or react? would you react? How did you react? How did you react? How, did you react? How, how did you? No. Did you, did no. You, what, how would you react if a friend told? If a friend told you react. Told your secret to everyone. Yes, now, what's the difference? What the, order, the order of the words, you know, the, the, the position, the position of the, the main words, the main clause and the result. There, there you go. Okay. The result. And the result, perfect. The result so means would. The absolutely correct. So the result is would and the situation? In past. Go past. So asking about imaginary situations or events. So we have two different questions. 
we have question, information question. And this is? Yes, no question. Okay, the two types of questions we have. So the, the information question, what would you do if you broke your a friend's camera? And with this, you have your different answers. You have I, which is I would, I apologize for breaking it. I pay for the repairs or I wouldn't say anything about it. Now, these are the responses to uh, an information question. What about yes, no question? Would you pay for a new one? The answers would be yes, I would. Oh my gosh, this is ugly. Yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. There. So we have the questions. Would you travel a lot if you won the lottery? Guys? Yes, of yeah, course. Yes. yes, I yes. would. Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, there. I yes, I would. Where would you go? I traveled to Mexico. Oh my goodness, really? Mexico? <laughs> oh, Where are Mexico. You? I would travel. Where are you? <laughs> no, uh, I would travel. United to States. Uh, <laughs> United I would go to Petra. Petra. City of Petra, yes. Yeah. I that know that my, place. That will be my, my first visit. And then, I don't know, maybe some, some uh, like, Pueblos Magicos in here in Mexico. Magic Towns. It's called Magic Towns? It, it Magic is correct, Towns. I think. Yeah, Magic it Towns. Yes. OK. OK, I will okay. visit uh, the, um, some of the Magic Towns here in Mexico. In Mexico, the whole country, or using Guerrero? In Guerrero, there are, no, I don't know. Well, I live in Sinaloa. I have some states that I would like to visit mm -hmm. if I want the lottery, of course. <laughs> of course, yes, that's absolutely right. So if you want the lottery, but would you be rich if you sold your house? No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so. Build another one. Bill. So if you if you sold your house, no, I would. You would build a new one. All right. So if you sold your house, if you sold it, if you said here it is, Kachin gave you the money. What would you buy? Another house, a bigger house. A bigger house. Very nice. Awesome, guys. There, now let's continue with everything else. We have conditionals. And of course, with the condition, we have the condition, the situation, and... Oh, those are headaches. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the easy part, okay, Dania? <laughs> oh, the easy part. <laughs> this is easy. Don't worry. So we have the condition and the result. We have all of these conditionals, zero, first, second, and third. Now, we have a purpose for everything. Now, what we're looking or what we're working with is the second conditional because we're talking about hypothetical or unlikely situations, or in other words, unreal situations now or in the future, unreal, not real. Imaginary situations today or in the near future. So that is the second conditional. Second conditional, if I won the lottery, I would travel a lot. If they sold their house, they would be rich. Now, this we can make into questions. We can make it into information questions or just no questions. For example, this one, the first one, I can make it into 
an information question. What would you do? And the next part, guys. If you won the lottery. If you won the lottery. If you won the lottery. Of course, we have one. Why do we have one in simple past? Because that's the structure of the second conditional. We use the simple past for situations now, right? For situations in the present. There. Now, what about the other question? This, uh, if they sold their house, they would be rich. So I can say, what would they be? If they sold their house. If they sold their house. There. Now, what about the yes, no questions? Okay, well, without the what, and a bit more specific, trying to uh, guess what they're going to do. Would you travel a lot? If you won the lottery. Won the lottery. If you won the lottery, yes. There, and the other one? What would they be? Would you? Would you solve? No. Nope. What is remembered is the result, not the situation. Think about uh, cause and effect. Would you be rich if you sold your oh house? Would you be rich? Yes, would yes. you be rich? If would you actually I wrote they right? Would you would they be rich? Would they be rich if they sold their house? If they oh. sold their house. Remember, we talk about cause and effect. Uh Cause and effect. and effect. What is this? Now, what is the situation? The situation is, is the cause. The cause is the situation, the condition. And the effect? The blue one. <laughs> is the result, the, result. the consequence. The consequence. Hmm. Okay. Now, in these things that I have, in the examples I have on the top, which ones are the costs? What is the result? The effect. The, the first one in the cost is if I won the lottery, the effect is I will travel a lot. So every time we have if, everything we have with if will be the cost, the, cost. the situation, or the condition. Oh, everything okay. with if. And the effect will always be with would. Ooh. That will be the effect, the result, or the consequence, okay? And if simple past would plus sim verb in simple form, or would verb in simple form plus if simple past. To this, we need to add the comma. Which one takes the comma? 
Which one? Yeah. We have example number one, and uh, I'm sorry, structure number one and structure number two. One of them, one requires a comma. Which one would that be? Number one or two? The first one. Both. The first one. If only the first Both, one. Huh? Every first time one. we start with it, we have a comma. Comma. Yes. And if we start with what? No comma. No comma. No comma. Now, is speaking naturally intonation in long questions? How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? This is telling you the fluctuation of the stress, the intonation, the intonation, the stress. So all you have to do is really? listen, if listen and repeat. Page 79. Listen and repeat. Two, speaking long questions. A. Which part of the long questions above intonation falls and then rises in the first and second parts of the questions and then falls at the end? How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? Repeat, please. How would you react if a, if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? Oh, you sound like it. Nice, Coral. <laughs> Thank you. It did the intonation just like the like the native speaker? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, listen and repeat. Oh, Julia. What would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? Repeat. What would you do if a friend came for if a friend came for and dinner and brought an expensive, an expensive box, of box of chocolate? All right, one more time. Listen and repeat. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? <laughs> someone you used to go out How would you react? If a friend start to go out, I don't remember. Start to go out with. Start dating someone you used to go out with. Okay. Okay, one more time. Yeah, please. The end. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? How would you react if, if your friend? How, how if your friend you started a dating? Start dating someone you can go out with? Yes, there you go. Somebody else? Nobody? I wasn't here, teacher, sorry. All right, one more time. Please. It's at the end. How would you react if a friend started dating someone you used to go out with? How would you react to your friend? How would you react if, if a friend started dating with someone do you go we are do go, go out with them? you used to go out with how would you react if your friend started a dating with someone who used to go out with there next ready next What would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? What would you do if a friend came from for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? Awesome, Fernanda. That's correct. Oh my God. Finally. One more time. <laughs> One more time, guys. What yeah. would you 
What would you do? <laughs> Thank you. What would you do if a friend came for a dinner and broke an expensive bottle of chocolates? Perfect. There you go. Okay. Mago, Coral, Daniel, Natividad. What would you do if your friend came for dinner and brought an, ex an expensive box of chocolate? Perfect. <laughs> it's what would you do if a friend came for dinner and brought you an expensive box of chocolates? Yes. Yes. What, yes. You what said would very you good. Do if a friend came for dinner and brought an expensive box of chocolates? I missed okay. something. What, 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 what? Did I miss something? No, uh, it's that everybody changes a little bit. Okay. Tom introduced an, a, a pronoun, some misses a pronoun, but you get you get the general idea, which is correct, and you give a, a proper uh, intonation, which is good. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Do you have any questions? Next, let's go for the next one. Make questions with would using the ideas below. Compare with a partner. All right, now, yes, my God, yes. <laughs> let's go in Teams. I'm gonna share with you this screen. It's on the WhatsApp group. So let's go in session so you guys can practice, to, uh, not practice, uh, get it resolved together. There, please, let's take only two minutes for this, okay? Okay, everybody's back. Great. Did everybody finish? Almost. Yes, almost. almost, almost, I know. Okay, now let's check the questions. What do you have for question number one? What would you do if you find a wallet on the sidewalk outside of school? Can you find a wallet on the sidewalk outside of a school? Would you leave it there? Out. You leave it there. Perfect. What do you have for number two? It's what will you do if you hear a scream in the street at night? Would you what go would, outside? I'm sorry. Okay. What would you do if you if, hear? If you hear? Hear. Hears? It's incorrect. Hear. 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 Simple pass. If you heard a scream in the street at night, would you go outside to see what happened? There, number three. Sorry, teacher. In our, in our team, we we make sentences. For example, just one question for each uh, activity. For example, yeah. the number two: If you hear a scream in the street at night, would you go uh, would you go outside to see what happened? Awesome. That's a good question. It was the same for the another one. Yeah. Basically, you combine them. Yeah. All right, let's go for number three. What would you do if a salesperson forgot to 
charge your to charge you for something? Would you tell him or her about it? Uh, that's one question. And the second question? Would you tell him or her about it? Would you tell him or her about it? Here. Next, number four. What will you do if you damage a car in a parking lot? Will you leave a note with your name and number? If you damage a car in a parking lot, will you leave a note with your name and number? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's not a good idea here in Mexico, is it? No. I couldn't. <laughs> no. Number five. We have for number five. What you what would you wear? What would you do? Sorry. Huh? What would you do if if you were if half you were, an hour late meeting a friend for dinner? If you were exactly. half an hour late for a meeting. Oh, would you expect for, him or her to wait for you? For dinner. For For dinner. Next. Do you expect him or her to wait for you? Do you expect? Do you expect him or her to wait for you? There, those are the questions. Do you have any questions? No, everything is no. pretty clear. Okay, so what you're going to do is now we're going to go back in sessions and you're going to ask and answer the questions. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay, let me, let me take a picture of this. All right, and it's on the WhatsApp. And now let's go in groups so you guys can ask and answer the questions with the classmate. Let's see, Coral and Natividad, please stay. So, Denia, Ever, Mago, please go to your rooms. And Denia, there. All right, Coral, Natividad, please begin. Okay. Okay, hello, Natividad. Hello. Number one for me or for you? It's okay for you if you want. Okay. What would you do if what would you do if you found a wallet on the sidewalk outside school? What would you leave? Would you leave there? Would you leave it there? Sorry. Maybe if I I found a wallet, I would check if it has a, a ID and send a message on Facebook to ask for the people who, who is the owner of the wallet. Yes, and I, you? 
Okay, I will do the same. Okay. Okay, number two. What would you do if you heard a scream in the street at night? Would you go outside to see what happened? Maybe yes. <laughs> I would. I say maybe because uh, depending the depending the the scream, no. <laughs> I think that is not a good option because this today or nowadays is happening terrible things. For example, you you can hear your your neighbors uh, fighting. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. It's the same. It's the same now together. The, the yeah. Screen, no? yeah, but in my case, if I hear a scream, maybe I could call the police. Yeah, it's it's better option. This is better. I think it's a better option to do. Right. Okay. Number three. Okay. What would you do if you say if a salesperson forgot to charge you for something? Would you tell him or her about it? What would you do if this person forgot to charge you for something? Yes. Something. Yes, if a salesperson forgot to charge okay. me for something, yes, I could say him what is missing or what is happening now. Yes. Yes, I, I could tell her because uh, maybe he or she's grown. Yeah. Number four. Okay. For you? Me? Ah, okay. Sorry. What could you do if you damage a car in a parking lot? Would you leave a note with your name and number? Uh, Be yes. honest, please. <laughs> yes, yes, I could. Okay. Yes, I could because I, uh, I have done. Okay. I have done that. Okay, but it's not if not the, it's not the person in that moment. What would you do? Yeah. Maybe I say say I I don't know. I don't have time. I need to go out here. Maybe you say I could. Um, I don't know. But is this case? You is uh, you leave a note with okay. your name or number uh, because you want that he called you later. Yes, it's a good option because now most of the people say uh, do the, the same action. <laughs> Mainly the Mexican people. <laughs> Mexico, maybe no. <laughs> no. Uh, the okay. last one. What would you do if you were half an hour? late meeting a friend for dinner what would you expect him or her to wait for you oh my goodness i think I, if a, <laughs> if i were half an hour late meeting a friend for dinner i could call him to say what is happening or yes. maybe make a note and say and see you, we'll see you tomorrow because I don't have time, I need to do something. Okay, but the, for yes. me, I think it's better to, to make a call for him. Yes, to tell you what's the reason that you, you are late. Yes, exactly. Okay, Very good answer. Yeah, That's we all. finish. Hi, guys. Finish. Yeah, hi. Hi. You finished? All right, yes. any questions? Finish. No, teacher. No? This That's is pretty okay. simple, right? Yes, a little bit. Easy, easy. I hope it is. All right, so how are, how are the conditionals for you? Are they easy to manage? Uh, just a little bit because I I was confused some in some words when I need to say in simple past and now to transform using the goods. Yeah. Is it better now or you still have a question? No, no, it's better now. It's better. Perfect. Yeah. What about you, Natividad? Oh, it's okay. It's good? This, this topic is, is a little easy for me. Excellent. I hope all of the rest topics are easy for you as well. And all your classmates will be back in one second. Perfect. Everybody's back? Yeah, teacher. All right. Now, I have another screen there. 
Now, let's see how many questions do you see on the screen? Six questions. Six questions. So let's begin. I want, let's see, who do I want first? Six. Ever. Yeah. Please, Ever. Question number one. What would you do if you weren't afraid? Yes, mister. What would you do if you weren't afraid? It's about, uh, that question is about the picture? Not necessarily. The picture is just for uh, background. It's not for context. <laughs> what would you do if you, whatever I want, weren't afraid? Well, Who would like to answer that? Anybody would like to volunteer and give an answer? I would jump off a parachute. Oh my goodness, you would jump off a parachute? Yes. <laughs> you but would sky I'm afraid, that. I'm afraid of high, so Don't that worry. would never happen. So I you could, would do a sky I, well, uh, in a situation I only, I, I, I have only to, to scream to hear my echo, well, uh, using the picture. Uh, but that's all well but jump now yeah that, that that's for me is to risk it and, and <laughs> no I, I, I you're would, using I the that. parachute I'm, I'm not i'm like just jump i'm gonna use something for well parachute perfection yeah all right okay. let's see natividad can you give me the next question please what would you is the above question Whatever, just another question. Okay. What would you like to do if money were not object? If money were not object? Um, for example? Um, if money were by, not by object? color? Or a black ink pen? I, um, or you can exchange the things. I go well, exchange the things. Money. What would you do? What would you like to do? If money were no object, if money was not a problem. I would travel. Oh, okay. I will buy clothes. I could Love study clothes. different languages. Ah, okay. I would like to travel, sorry. Travel, okay. Perfect, thank you guys. Is Denia here? Denia, are you here? Yes, teacher. Yeah, there you are, there. Uh, Denia, next question, please. What would you do if you were, um, what would you do if you won the lottery? I yeah, would, what would you buy do? Mm, I would travel a lot. <laughs> yeah, travel is by far everybody, everybody's choice. Okay, let's see. Fernanda, can you give me the other another question, please? Uh-huh. What would you do? Am I supposed to complete the question? Actually, there's one more question here. Okay, well, what would you do if you were invisible? Or invisible? Invisible. Invisible. Okay. I think I would go out from my house and I would enter to whatever house. Like, <laughs> like that's because I love chisme. I love... <laughs> oh, Gossip. Uh, Gossip. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. You would spy on your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody will do that. <laughs> you think so? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next thing I need you to do, uh, I would like you guys to do is think of a question. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to number these little lines. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now uh, let's see. Once again, number one, Ever, please, number one. Uh, Natividad, number two. Denia, three. 
Maria Fernanda, four. Coral, five. Mago, six. Please think of a question and write it down on the line, please. If Chair, are we going to write here the slide? On the screen, yes, please. Okay. Um, what would you do if you were poor and younger? It's, is that correct? I, I don't see it. Can you click outside of the box? Ah, sorry. So the letters are visible to us. <laughs> sorry. It's should I okay. just should I just close the the? No, just click wall? with the mouse. Click somewhere else on the screen. Okay. There, there you go. Now we can see it. Okay. So what would you do if you were younger? Perfect. That's a good question. Continue. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Ever. Where teacher? Where I have to click? Uh, I think you're number two, Natividad. But how I can do it? You can't type? Where? Number two. Sorry, teacher. Or how I can how do can it? I, how can I write it? It's in options on the top. On options. On the top of your screen? Mm -hmm. Somewhere on the top? You, you should see one button that says options, view options, or ver opciones. Mm -hmm. okay. Click on it, okay. and some more options will display. Okay. Yeah. On those options, you one of them will say annotate or anotar. Yeah, thank you. Click right. on it, and more options will appear. <laughs> Click on text. Picture, I can write. Are you on a cell phone, Maria? Yeah. You can you can type it on the chat and I will transfer it. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> I'm done to chair. Oh, sorry. There, that's uh, Maria's question. And Natividad, are you uh, working okay with your question? Or are you having problems? No, what? Your question, number two. I, I read it. Uh, what do you can do you write it? You You're now writing it? What would you do? No, it's okay. There it is. Sorry. What would you do if you had 10 what? Children. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a horrible Damn. question. No, it's not horrible. Uh -huh. <laughs> it I might be scary. Them. I tell yeah, I agree with you if you said it's scary. So there. Okay, yeah. Scary question. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, scary, I'm gonna, I took a picture of this. I'm gonna uh, send it to the WhatsApp group. This, if you want, you can ask an answer on the weekend. Okay, whenever you have 10 minutes to practice, because today we're finished. Okay. okay, how was the class today, guys? Very quickly. Good. Yes, it went quickly. Like very interesting, teacher. Very interesting. Very nice. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Excellent. Everything is fine. Oh, yes. Everything okay. is perfect. Uh, I will send you some slides to do some homework. And uh, have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. See you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. You too. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye